so the eclipse is Monday. You can see in Ohio it's partly cloudy most of the time. It's partly cloudy. So I guess if we get caught with a cloud like this right at the eclipse, it's going to be hard to see. I think the cloud will be passed before the four minutes is up, hope. If there is a cloud during that, hopefully we get a break like this during the eclipse, that will be perfect. So, either way, I'll show you what we do. Hello and welcome to the Gypsy and the Vanilla Gorilla. I am the gorilla that is vanilla. This is the Gypsy. She is my queen. We wake up every day and try to find the art in everything. We take that art, we put it in a hot soup bowl, and we serve it up to you for the merriment of your soul. So in this vlog, we spend most of our time checking out the new cardinal couple that has been coming to our feeder. Uh, we put some new feed out and we show you what visits our feeder after we put the new feed out. And then we talk a little bit about some tips for the eclipse tomorrow. Just put some new feed out right there in the bird feeder. Cardinals came to eat and uh, they weren't eating so went out there and it was empty. This time we put uh, peanut butter, peanuts, figs, and then we coated it in, uh, I think it's like cookie crunch oatmeal or something. I don't think it'll take them long to come back. We saw our first butterfly today and I just saw two more flying over there in those trees you can see. So the butterflies are back. first to notice the feeder. It doesn't take long before many come to visit and partake of this deliciousness that we've put out of peanut butter, peanuts, figs, and oat. But it's our young cardinal couple that we would like to see. Where have they gone? Did they think we have forgot about them? It wasn't out of feed for long. Maybe they've just gone down to the neighbors to try to find some food. We know they're trying to raise a family and we hope they come back to visit our feeder. see these sparrows eating and realize that the food has been replenished. Their nest is right there in those trees across from this feeder. I know they'll see it at some point.
boots. And right there he wipes the peanut butter off his beak. Oh look, a pair of house sparrows have come to the feeder. These are males, the females are smaller and slender, lighter in color. Ah, oh, there's a female house sparrow now. Oh, there he is, the mayor cardinal. But he didn't eat. He's back though. That's good to see. I do think that Cardinal saw the food there now. I hope he goes and tells his mate. How oh, did you see that? That male is being territorial now. He needs to provide for his family and make sure that the food supply stays plenished. I haven't seen the female come back yet. I wonder if she's laid her eggs. We didn't see the female at all the night before, but this first thing in the morning she was up eating at the feeder. I think she's sitting on her nest and only leaves when he can watch the nest. Throughout the day he stops by and I think he brings her food. The sparrows enjoy a brief stopping in between being chased off by the male cardinal. In the past, the male would come first and make sure everything was safe, and then the female would come while he took watch. But now she doesn't come around much, only in the evenings and early in the morning. I do think they have started their family.
from time to time when the male and the female are out there, it's nice to watch them stick their plume straight up in the air on the top of their head. They put it up and down, kind of like a cockatiel does. Sometimes that old male comes back just to chase the sparrows away. The cardinals are a smart bird, and they are the parrot of the Northwest America. We have them all over here in Ohio, and they are our state bird. But those sparrows don't pay no mind to that mean old male cardinal. They just come back when he's not looking. We love to watch the birds outside the window here at the homestead. Oh, what it would be like to have wings ourselves, free to fly where we would wish. They don't worry about a thing, and their needs are all provided. Of our eclipse videos, we are going to watch the solstice eclipse in Ohio. We might go live, so stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. These solar eclipse glasses talk about the an annular eclipse event that was October 14th, 2023. That's one of the reasons we chose these glasses was because you you know these uh, are all are all these glasses the same? Well, who knows? I don't know. But by the time you find out, it's going to be too late. Uh, these were used way back last year, and there's been plenty of time for people to say, Oh, don't use these glasses, they burnt my eyes. Some of these newer glasses, uh, they may think they work, and who knows, I don't. Make sure you look for the certified safe, for sure.